Okay. You guys will have to forgive me. My voice is, um, I've got a sore throat. Um, been battling it for about a week. Today it seems to be um, a little worse even. But uh, we're having some low 70s, so it's cooled off. Yesterday we had a high of 55. And um, I don't know, we had a sunny day today. I had to get out. Um, went and picked up a new PTO shaft for my tiller since the original one when they sent it out here when they delivered it they had pre-cut it and I think they pre-cut it forgetting that I had the quick hitch so um, I used to run my uh, trailer hitch three point um, and I think when they delivered it I, I was pr I probably had that on <clears throat> So my top link was pulled back, pulled all the way in, and so it worked. Last year, same thing, when I swapped out to my quick hitch to put on my tiller, I think that uh, my top link was turned in. Last year, I did notice as I was um, tilling, it did come apart on me, um, the shaft. But... I don't till a whole lot and I was pretty much done so just I don't know I didn't think much of it and then this year when I went to put it together put it on it was turned out a little bit um, the top link was rotated longer and uh, you know the two pieces wouldn't even go together so I realized I, I need to get that thing swapped out <clears throat> called up my salesman Brian over there at Cahaba tractor and he said sure you know let me see if I have one you know if, if I don't have one uh, just bring it by your old one and uh, I'll have the new one shipped to your house so that I could uh, use it this weekend turns out they did have one and so I was able to take it down there and and pick it up so there it is. I'm going to have to figure out whether or not I need to cut it or not. We'll see. Okay, guys. So I am going to have to shorten my PTO shaft. And um, so I'm in the process of taking off my uh, the PTO shield. That's fun. But I finally got it. For those of you who have not ever done that, um, it's, uh, you know, it, it takes a minute just to, to get it right. And um, I'll go over some of that. Okay, here's the PTO sh shield. It was on, you know, like that. This section was pushed lit up all the way up to the edge and what has to happen is you've got to use a uh, screwdriver into the holes you can see and the holes line up should have used the tripod to where you'll be pushing these tabs in and what you're trying to do there I'm going to just take this off Good. or maybe you can see those tabs end up slipping in there I think you can see right there maybe I'll set this down and Those tabs fit right up in there and so you can see the hole right there you're gonna push the tab so it's not caught right there and then it frees freeze the collar up took me a while to figure that one out and just to get it just right 
for me, you know, kind of knowing how it works and how to apply my pressure and and such um, makes a difference when doing it the first time. So hopefully that helps um, someone else out there taking the, these collars off for the first time. Okay guys, so now that I got one collar off, I'll show you how to take off the other side. And I'll try and do it live for you. And uh, now that I know how it works, how it latches in there, hopefully it won't be um, as difficult. Try to adjust the camera so that you can see. Stick the screwdriver in, push that tab, you can kind of feel it give, and I'll go around to the other ones. Try and do this with each one. have to push it back so it doesn't slip back down. So if anyone's out there knows a trick to this, Please share it for other people in the comments. Oh, there we go. All right. So now I'm going to work on getting this thing shortened up. <laughs> 